Hey everybody, so today I'm going to share with you uh, some of my training that I like to do. This is from the Wim Hof Method. Uh, I had a chance to meet Wim Hof a few years ago when uh, I was speaking at an event where he was the keynote speaker. And uh, really, we got along great. He's a remarkable human being. Um, and there's many different breathing type of methods, but uh, due to the popularity of Wim Hof, we've seen over the last several years many different breathing programs come out. So uh, he's definitely the, the person most responsible for the popularity of breathing. And there's differences of opinion. Uh, the Wim Hof method uh, utilizes more of a power breathing, which is inspired from yoga traditions, where it's... <sighs> There's certain schools of thought that say you have to breathe through the nose. Um, I don't follow dogmatic teachings. I think any teacher who's dogmatic and says you must do this way or there's only one way, they're generally, uh, it's coming from ego and they're generally not that experienced because there's always more than one way and there's different applications. Anyway, I did um, several rounds of deep breathing. I did uh, four rounds of deep breathing. We do about 30 to 40 breaths of it. And then I did the exercises after. So now I'm gonna go into the ice bath and I'm just gonna let you guys observe that. Today's gonna be a 10 minute ice bath. So I have my uh, 55 gallon drum there. I got about, I would say 48 gallons of water. And then I have 50 pounds of ice. So I'm going to put the ice in and then And it's just all about love. If you really understand the teachings of Wim Hof, there's a technique, but underneath all of that, the technique is love. So we're going deep inside, connecting with the breath, through the breath. We go deep into the mind. Uh, Wim was really the first person, definitely the first person to validate scientifically the power and efficacy of the deep breathing with the cold immersion. And uh, there's been studies at numerous universities around the world. You can do a search and access those studies, uh, including Harvard and universities in Japan and England and Ball State University and many other prestigious uh, university labs where they've uh, studied the immune, the effects on the immune system, healing, recuperation, and Wim's got something like 36 Guinness Book World Records for cold exposure, also heat exposure, um, and, and all kinds of things like that, so really putting the technique to the test. Now, I'm going to just keep this playing. If you don't have time, you don't need to sit here for the whole 
uh, 10 minutes, but I'm gonna be here for 10 minutes and I'm gonna record the whole thing just so you know that it's legit and there's no faking. It's already been two minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. And I saw recently uh, Wim, Wim Hof had the question, does he ever get a cold or when was the last time he had a cold? And he said he can't remember. And he thinks he doesn't get colds because he goes into the cold. He goes to the cold so the cold doesn't have to come to him. And I like that. So... Um, this is a great practice for for uh, strengthening your immune system and it has to do with if you look into the research of it uh, it has to do with the alkalinization that's a big part of it so the, al the, the alkalinization of the blood whereas uh, biologic biology uh, or I should say the, the human body and the life that we have on earth it exists within a pretty narrow range of uh, acid alkaline balance what's called the pH scale and so 0.7 is the neutral and as you go above 0.7 it gets more alkaline and as you go below 0.7 it gets more acidic and so what we want is to bring the body to a more alkaline state and to reduce acidity. And the reason for that is because uh, disease cannot exist in an alkaline environment. So disease uh, foments in acidic environments. And so uh, most of our environment draws us into a more acidic. So we're looking at the foods that we eat, uh, fried foods, processed foods, uh, animal proteins, uh, especially if you're eating a lot of like red meat and things like that, they're, they're going to be more acidic. Uh, alcohol, drugs, nicotine, uh, stress, uh, environmental toxins, and there's many. Um, traffic, lots of noise, electromagnetic energy, it's all around. So all of these uh, environmental factors create a more acidic environment in the body. And if we don't maintain balance, we move more to an acidic state within the blood, within the blood chemistry, and that forms a breeding ground for our uh, for disease to, to form. And so we can, we can combat that by bringing us into an acidic state, uh, deep breathing, uh, cold immersion is some of the more powerful ways. Also, nutritionally, we can eat more alkaline foods, more uh, water content foods, vegetables, fruits, drinking water instead of soda, instead of beer, things like that. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't eat tacos <laughs> or drink beer, but balance. And, you know, even just um, reducing your stress, so thinking, thinking, uh, more pleasant thoughts, training your mind, mental discipline not to get fixated on negativity, uh, anxiety, uh, fear. These things create an acidic environment. And what occurs in the body is inflammation. And so when we have injuries or just an inflammatory condition from not being in good health, that inflammation is a response is a physiological response to a more acidic condition. And so therefore, as we can bring the body more away from the acidity and more towards alkaline, we reduce the inflammation. Okay, so really, you are responsible for taking care of your health. Um, yes, it's a blessing to have good health. It comes from source, however you want to name that. And so it is a blessing, something to be grateful for. But 
we are not, uh, we have consciousness. So we are not uh, powerless to influence our own health through conscious action. And, you know, this is one of the best things you can do. There's another thing about, you know, the cold. And, the, and because my body was so warm from the breathing, the ice is already melted. The water is still cold, but the ice is already melted. That's 50 pounds of ice. Next time I'll probably put 70 pounds uh, because I did the four rounds of the breathing and other exercises. And so my body was already really warm. There's a saying that I that I really like. It says that we don't exercise to train the breath. We train the breath to exercise. And so probably the most powerful thing you can do if you want to improve your uh, cardiovascular output, your power, your strength, your conditioning, is to become more skillful breathing. The more skillful you are at breathing, the more efficient you will be with utilizing your energy. You'll be able to uh, conserve more energy and not waste or use as much energy. And then you combine that with conditioning exercises like kettlebells and other fantastic training methods. Then you're really hitting it from all sides. You're getting the, the muscular aspect through the training but you're getting the deep cellular conditioning and training through the deep breathing. The cold helps you. It, in fact, it compels you to learn to breathe because in this cold, if, if I'm not breathing, my body's gonna be like, and you're not gonna, not gonna be able to tolerate it. So I have to really go deep into the breath and create that inner fire. So this comes from, you know, ancient yogic traditions, not the ice per se, but the breathing. And the ice is really a, a technique that is utilized to bring you deeper into the breathing. You don't even need the ice, but it's a good reminder and it's a good test of how well you are breathing. So it comes from the pranayama breathing. So just thanks for being here with me, engaging. It made the time go by really fast. So I'm already nine and a half minutes in. So that was no problem. I've done this 30 minutes in a bathtub with uh, like 60 pounds. So 10 minutes is not that long, but that's that's my assignment for this week. I'm following a prescribed program, a Wim Hof program. So for this week, it's a 10 minute. It's just amazing. All right, so that's the 10 minutes. And I hope that was somewhat instructive for some of you. Thanks for joining. I'll keep you updated.